Hi guys, welcome to the third episode. Uh, the previous episode, which was episode two, we talked about um, setting up the Laravel itself, and we're able to, you know, spin up the Laravel application and have the welcome page, you know, um, up there in our browsers. Uh, so for this episode, we're going to be talking about uh, routing. Uh, we're going to play around routing and also talk about uh, the blade syntax and you know just a little bit of it but in the next episode we'll jump into the blade syntax more but we're just going to talk about it a little bit here and, and all of that so let's get started so in a previous episode you should have a project structure like this and of course you probably uh, still have your application been served under your your bash or your command prompt or PowerShell whichever you're using um, so I'm just going to stop this because I like, you know, working from uh, my code editor. So I'm just going to use the terminal inside my code editor, and I'm just going to serve from here. Okay. Remember the 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 command is php artisan serve. Okay, so um, just thought about this. Just in case you want to stop this, you can easily press Ctrl C while you're inside this, you know, this um, PowerShell or your command or wherever you are, command line or bash. You can easily just press Ctrl C on the Windows. Uh, I think Command C as well on um, on the Mac, and then you can easily just stop the the procedure, right? And let's do that again. Let's start. The server again and continue okay so uh, this is what we had I'm just going to reload this to be sure that everything works well okay great now this is the basic uh, welcome page that we have from Laravel right really sleek uh, I think this is still in CSS looking good so um, you know first off when you get you I mean in your experience working with PHP you must have had to, you know, load PHP somewhere on your browser, and you know, you probably you would enter things like index.php or you know, farm.php, and these, you know, these URLs usually have some sort of PHP file that has been attached to them, right? Okay, so for Laravel, it's actually quite a different approach. <clears throat> you don't have to start specifying each individual PHP file you want to load. Rather, you specify something called routes. Okay? And for this, as you can see, I mean, right now we do not have any part. Like, there's no additional part to the route. So, which means that this is equivalent to this. I mean, just a slash, the forward slash. And that's where we are. This is the home route, right? But it's a forward slash. So if we, for example, wanted to go to like a farm and all of that, we probably would go to slash form dot php and you know vanilla php. But in Laravel, you probably do slash form, and it should take you to the page. But right now we're having a full for why because we do not have any settings whatsoever. You know we don't have this route. So basically, these are what routes are like, right? So routes are like you know paths addresses to. Um, you know, like for your for your application, right? Um, they're like uh, access points to different aspects of the application. So in the sense of maybe you want to create um, a user, you want to do something, and all of that, all of that comes from the routing, okay? Um, the routing, let, let, let's go down to the basics. What, one thing I always tell you is always, uh, you know, like um, the documentation is your best friend. I mean, for real. Um, if you ever stalk, if you ever really need to know something, just come to the documentation. You'd probably find it and it will give you a lot of context about it and you probably read it further and understand how it works better uh, before, you know, you probably want to wonder or searching the internet for your answers, right? And all of that. But always know that the Laravel documentation is pretty easy to use and understand and you can easily, you know, fall back to it at any point in time that you're stuck. Okay, so usually, like you can see, this is a routing. Okay, the most basic uh, route is, you know, a GET request. Now, when it comes to HTTP, I mean, which is all of this, the whole making an HTTP request, 
Um, there are different type of HTTP requests. We have get, post, put, delete, patch. Uh, I think there are some other ones, but those are the more, uh, most used ones and you know most most common ones. Uh, but for something like this, this is a, a get request. Okay, uh, you know, just type in in the URL and just you know in your browser. This is just a simple get request. Uh, for a post request, you couldn't you know just post a request like this from the browser uh, uh, URL, uh, URL bar like this. I'm pretty sure you probably have tested that out before while you're working on Sodium PHP. But if you haven't, you couldn't. And this is how you make a simple get request. So we're going to actually uh let's let's go back to first of all let's go back to the main home page okay and let's let's see so let's let's get to where this is and let's see what we could do let's play around okay uh, so when you come to your project for this, uh your project folder you get to see the structure you get to see app bootstrap please you do not want to touch anything in the bootstrap folder you want to be very careful in the vendors folder, you don't want to touch anything there. Um, this vendor folder contains all your packages, like all the like framework data. Whenever you install some sort of uh, package, when you say package, it's more like a plugin. Whenever you install like a plugin into your application, maybe it's, it's easier for you to understand. But usually, the term, the better, with the common term is package, right? Uh, you probably do not want to touch that. For now, you do not want to touch any of this, like storage. Uh, you know, database, config, bootstrap, right? Just, I mean, for now, just, um, you know, you get to that stage, okay. So let's look for this, that file, right, the welcome page. So where you want to look for this is you want to go to resources and you want to go to views and you'd find the file here. This is the file you could see that sh shows, you know, that page over there in front. And you'll be wondering, okay, how do I know this? Uh, but before I show you how I know this, I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to, let's let's remove this and and I'm just going to change that beautiful um, HTML that we have there to this and I'm going to reload let's see what happens okay so you can see like it, I've taken everything that we have there and now we have a lot of office uh, so but how do I know this I, I know this because you know the documentation I have it in documentation here that um, these are views okay so what happens is that whenever you make a GET request, okay, in a web uh, application, whenever you make a GET request and you want to return something in Laravel, you return a view, which is instead of having to return traditional HTML blocks down from wherever you're accessing that request from, you could actually return a view, right? And these views, right, uh, like they start, they have a particular uh, pattern, okay, and Usually the names of those files, like the the naming convention, you could you could perhaps see for example this has this welcome dot blade dot php, okay. Now this indicates that this is a blade file, and a blade file is basically the blade template the engine that Laravel relies on. Maybe you've heard of Twig, uh, or maybe any other template uh, engine right out there, but this is what Laravel uses, a blade template, uh, a blade template engine, and you know it gives like a lot of, it allows you to use a lot of syntax and you, I mean in really really pretty way, and it's really easy to understand and really fast to grasp. Uh, let, me, let me just go to the documentation here. Uh, okay, right, and you, just as you can see this example right here. You notice that this ends in dot blade dot php. So let's let's copy this uh, out and let's try that. Let's try that out so you get to understand what I am saying. But for now, you do not need to worry about that. I will explain that shortly.
okay? Good. So now you can see we still have the same thing, um, you know, similar, just blank white page. And we just have the Hello Office Homes uh, printed out. But basically, any file you want to create, whenever you want to return a view, it has to be a bleed syntax, which is which has to end in .bleed.php. Now, how did we get to this .bleed.php? Is still a mystery, right? Uh, a, a mystery, rather. Uh, you probably you for you to understand how that works. That which is where it brings us to the route. Now, when you open the routes folder, you're going to see four files, API, channels, console, and web. For the now, what you need to concern yourself about is web. So when you click on the web, you get to see this, uh, you know, web.php file. Now, this web.php file is in charge of all your web-related routes, and these are where you instantiate um, routes that are for the web. And the reason why I keep using the word for the web um, I don't mean like for, you know, World Wide Web, because we have APIs and we have, I mean, basic web um, accessing of URLs and all of that. So this isn't an API route, this is a web route, okay? Now, as you can see here, we have this, um, you know, this, this thing called route here, and you probably see this um, double columns and, uh, and all of that. Um, if you understand uh, PHP classes, you probably know what this is already, hopefully you do, uh, and this is not, I'm not really going to be teaching that or talking about that in details, but this is literally a route uh, class, and commonly we call this kind of files facades in Laravel because um, they like uh, provide static routing to a another class, right? but makes it easier for you to access uh, uh, methods and easy for you to mock or test. I don't want to go too, into too much detail so I don't confuse you. But yeah, this is the route for SAT, okay, or route class, if it's easier for you to grasp that way. And then it has several methods in it. I'm just going to show you if I do the route, right, and the double columns, you get to see get, Right, uh, I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to you get to see posts. There's a route post, okay. If you want to uh, create a post request, there's a route get, there's a route uh, puts. But you probably you probably would never use this in a web route. Why? Because puts uh, delete patch requests. Those requests are API related versus web uh, related. So usually the most two common route types you'd be using here would be get and post. I think there is redirect. Yep. This is a, there's a redirect, but you, you probably never use this for now. So you don't need to worry about that for now. Okay. So as we know, um, we're returning, we like, remember I told you earlier on that the routes like when you actually went over to the browser, um, I'm not so sure if you guys could see my, I just realized that this may be too huge. Uh, hopefully this is better now. Um, so when you get over to, you know, the URL, I remember telling you that, you know, when there's no path, the, the equivalent path is just a forward slash, okay? And all of that. So if I did, um, of use, okay, I would most likely get a 404, which is not found, but if I were to come here and I wanted to create a get route for of use, right, I could do this and say slash of use, right, and, sorry, of use, and if I were to save this, okay, and come back and reload this page right here, Oops, what is wrong? Mm, oh, okay, sorry. 
So we need to, I need to comment this out because um, we're supposed to pass in some certain parameters. Those parameters are not optional, so as a result, it's costing this to fill. So I'm just going to uh, comment that out and um, carry in. Okay, so now we have that same um, uh, you know view that we had earlier, which is the welcome dot blade dot php. If you remember, okay. Now I probably do not want to return a view for now. Okay, I'm just going to return some basic. Uh, PHP and, and all of that, right? So you understand that this is all PHP and it's no no brainer, okay? So you can see one plus one is two. We could actually do seven plus one. This should be eight. Yep, eight. So. Uh, pretty much, we could literally, you know, return a PHP variable, whatever the case may be, whatever it is that you you want to return. Okay, so um, if let's create a new view, right? Rather than using welcome, okay, let's create a new view, and I'm just gonna say create a view. We're gonna return a view called uh, user. Dot just user rather, okay. So when you want to return a view, you do not want to include the blade uh, dot blade dot php into the name, and you use the view helper uh, method. This is a this is a helper method. This view here, which is always going to look for views in this part, like this folder here, right here. This is the views. So if, for example, I had a folder. Let's say uh, users, and I'm going to create a, uh, a file called user dot blade. Sorry. Right. Now, this is this is a there's a folder. This is users, right? And then blade like user blade dot php. Over here, for me to return that, this would be users dot. Okay, user. Let's see if I'm if I'm correct. Uh, so we want to return that. This is going to be blank. So in order for it not to be blank, I'm just going to copy this, and we're going to paste that. Okay. Yep. As you can see, we have uh, you know my name showing back here, which is of course the default. Um, view template we've we've had. I'm just going to change this to um, episode three. Okay, just to be sure that we don't have some catch going on somewhere. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that that's settled. All right, so if we come back to you know the web.php, now you understand that the way you want to create uh, a view, um, you also want to take note of the folder where it is, but usually views are created inside the views folder, okay? And you you could create folders, you know, to make your work look neater or something, rather than, you know, just creating multiple packs of files and all of that, right? Uh, and all that. So this is like the basic way to get you know um, a get request to to a view. Okay. Um, in the next episode, we're going to talk about getting your request to um, a controller, and then from the controller down to the view. And you may be wondering why do we have why why I'm saying that, but in the next episode you'll find out. And uh, yeah, pretty much that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next episode. Bye.